So we recently published a paper in the British Journal of Hematology looking at patients who have different organ involvement with amyloidosis. So one group being renal amyloidosis only, the other group being cardiac plus renal amyloidosis, and the third group being cardiac amyloidosis. This study had over a thousand patients, and we wanted to compare not only the outcomes, but also the laboratory features of these patients. And it's an interesting finding. We and our colleagues from Italy and Germany last year had published that patients with very, very low light chains have more kidney involvement. And so this is building on that work. And we found similar things. People who had kidney involvement alone had a very low light chain burden. And then the burden went up in kidney plus heart involvement and was the highest in heart involvement. But the interesting question was, why is the burden lower in kidney plus heart than heart alone? So what happens to those light chains in patients with kidney involvement? And while there is no uh, scientific data yet to explain, one hypothesis is, are these people losing their light chains in the kidney? And why do low light chain levels result in kidney involvement and not heart? Is that light chain a different kind of a light chain? Is it more sticky with the kidney tubules? Does it interact in some way? So I think this data generates a lot of questions that need to be answered in the future by the amyloid community. And it will help us understand why some people have one organ involvement versus the other, and why some people do better than others.